I, I don't like to play favorites on this show, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, he is a longtime hockey columnist in Ottawa. Uh, he's a contributor to TSN. He's Bruce Garriock. You know who he is. He's a legend, people. And <laughs> Bruce, it's great to see you. And this is amazing to me. Michael Andlauer, he's in Ottawa on Tuesday. He's sitting down with Pierre Dorian and the rest of the senior management. When do you expect this sale to officially close, Bruce? And what actually happens between now and then? You know what, Jay? I'd love to tell you it's sooner rather than later, but I, I, Michael Landlauer has been telling his, his investors that it's probably going to be September before this thing closes. And I think one of the things he said to Pierre Dorian when he was here on Tuesday, he said, look, Pierre, you're the general manager. You've got work to do. Go ahead and make, do that work. I do think Michael Landlauer will be informed, you know, with the things that Pierre Dorian does with free agency and the upcoming draft. But I think right now it's in Pierre Dorian's hands to kind of shape what's going to happen here in the future. Okay, so now that we know Dorian's going to be running the show, what is number one on his to-do list, and uh, does it rhyme with Gabrinka? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> He's got to trade Alex to bring out. I And, you know, next, the draft is next week. And I think in a lot of ways, Jay, the clock is ticking with the National Hockey League draft coming up. If he wants to get a first round pick, a prospect and a player in return for Alex to bring out, then he's got to do it there. And I think he's got to do it before free agency. I think it's interesting. You know, they tried to sign Alex Brinkett to a long-term deal. He didn't want to do that here. There is some sense that he doesn't want to spend uh, the next eight years of his career in, in Canada. I do believe that the Detroit Red Wings and the Dallas Stars have an, have an awful lot of interest, Jay. I think they're the guys you're going to have to watch out, watch out for. Um, to bring it, obviously, the number one priority. What else uh, will Dorian and his management group have to prioritize this offseason? Well, one of the things I think he's got to do is come out and say that DJ Smith is his coach for next season. I think it starts there, and I think we'll hear about that at the draft. But the, there are a list of things he's got to do to fill out that roster. And they've let Austin Watson go to unrestricted free agents or free agency, or pardon me, they will. So they've got to fill out with some toughness. They've got to get someone for the third line. A decision has to be made on the future of Alex Farmington. There's a lot on, on, on his to-do list right now, and not the least of which is they've got to shore up their goaltending. And I think that's something to look at Eunice Corpusalo in free agency and see what they can do there. You mentioned goaltending, Bruce. Like, Mad Sogard, I think of him as the heir apparent to the number one job, but is it a question of Pierre Dorian finding someone to get him to the point where Sogard is ready to take over that job full-time? 100%, Jay. You know, look... Anton Forsberg is coming off two MCL injuries. You never hear that kind of thing. They've got to have some stability in that net if they're going to make the playoffs. The thinking here is that Sogard isn't ready to take that job right away. But I do think they'll try and have a 1A and 1B situation next season. And if Eunice Corpusell of the LA Kings makes it to free agency, I can see him being an option. You know, they talked to the Winnipeg Jets about Connor Hellebuck. He's not interested in signing an extension here, so they're not going to go there. Okay. Uh, another interesting thing about the Andlauer uh, meetings and visit in Ottawa is the fact that he spoke with Mark Sutcliffe, who is the mayor of Ottawa, and he also spoke to the unofficial mayor of Ottawa, who I thought was Bruce Garriock, but is, in fact, Daniel Alfredson, the greatest senator of all time. Bruce, what can you tell us about those meetings? Well, I can tell you I'm hurt that he didn't sit down with me while he was here, <laughs> and I'm still trying to get over that. But, look, I think his discussions with Mayor Mark Sutcliffe were about the possibility of a downtown arena, and I do think LeBrett and Flats is still in the picture because they know that, that Michael Landlauer wants to do something downtown. As for Daniel Alfredson, I think he just wanted to get to know him. You know, Daniel Alfredson stated publicly that he wants to be part of this organization in a meaningful role. What do I see as a meaningful role? I could see Daniel Alfredson being in player development, spending time with the players, getting on the ice with the players, and just handing out tips. And, and I think that would be a positive for the organization. Yeah, having uh, the greatest senator of all time involved with the senators makes a ton of sense to me, and I think for the fan base as well. Bruce, this is terrific. Hey, uh, Sens don't have to worry about being too busy for the first three rounds of the NHL draft next week. They don't have a pick for the first three rounds. <laughs> so they don't have to worry about getting too, too uh, excited about that. Bruce Garriock, always great chatting with you. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great summer. Take care. Talk to you soon.
we will be back right. <laughs>